Well, Julie, Mayor Jacob Fry has asked the City Council to, to cut 7% from the Minneapolis Police Department's budget for next year. Today in a marathon hearing, residents weighed in about what they think should happen. And in a strange twist, we learned that Minneapolis is now paying some police officers to retire. And now the Diamond Lake neighborhood of Minneapolis. I spent over in a virtual public hearing, many of the statements here. blended together. It's very distressing. There is a pandemic of crime. I don't want to live my life in Minneapolis like this anymore. More than 150 people giving their thoughts to the Minneapolis City Council about what should happen to the Minneapolis Police Department in the 2021 budget. I don't feel safe in my own city. I don't go downtown to visit my brother or go to my favorite restaurants and breweries anymore, not because of COVID because I don't want to get mugged or carjacked. This is a very real fear. The issue of policing hangs over the city. Last week, the council approved spending $500,000 to pay other departments to help MPD, which Chief Madera Arredondo says is down 161 officers from the beginning of the year. 40 of those have left, and 121 are on leave, such as PTSD medical leave, after the unrest in the city following the death of George Floyd. In the meantime, many residents, some of whom testified at the council hearing, still want dismantling MPD to be the council's priority. So I hear the fear of the callers before me, but the fact really must be stated that the police respond after an event occurs. They don't and won't keep us safe. You pledged to defund and dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department, and we're here to hold you accountable. Y'all don't sound scared. Y'all sound racist. At the same time this battle over police staffing is waged, Minneapolis is offering city employees, including police officers who are old enough to retire, a $30,000 incentive to do so. The city council approved that plan last month, and officers with enough years of service to be eligible are receiving this letter. Now I asked why the city is paying police officers to retire while at the same time paying officers from other departments to help them because of a staffing shortage. And the HR manager responded and said, quote, the retirement incentive which helped the city adjust its 2020 budget to account for losses due to the pandemic was offered to all city employees. And we could not deny this incentive to employees of an entire department. Back to you.